Hello and welcome to this week's edition of Grandma's Cookbook, where I go through a cookbook my aunt made of a bunch of recipes that my grandmother had. And if you're paying attention to the past few weeks, it's been insanely unhealthy. So I decided to try to dial it back, maybe go with a different one this time. So I did a bit of scouring and I came across a recipe for something kind of healthy, at least comparatively speaking, for potato salad. Now I'm fairly sure this isn't from a burned down restaurant or a uh, first lady, but here we go. I'm going to tell you how to make potato salad. To make potato salad, you're going to need two pounds of potatoes, which is anywhere between six to eight, apparently. Two teaspoons of grated onion. Sorry, I had to look at that tea and figure out if that was a teaspoon or tablespoon. It is a teaspoon of grated onion. This is a new tech. You got to grate an onion, which I had not done before. And let me warn you, you're going to cry. Now, there's a tip that I was told that if you put it in a freezer for about 10 minutes and then grate it, you shouldn't cry. But I was told that after the fact. So hopefully this gets to you before you actually start making it. You're going to need a third of a cup of mayonnaise, a quarter teaspoon of dry mustard, which is just mustard powder, two tablespoons of chopped sweet pickle, one half teaspoon of sugar, two tablespoons of the sweet pickle juice, one and one quarter teaspoon salt, and one tablespoon of vinegar. Now, step one, cook the potatoes in boiling salted water until tender. It takes about 20 minutes. Step two, cool, peel, and cut in three quarter inch cubes. Combine and pour remaining ingredients over the potatoes. Cover, bowl, and chill in refrigerator several hours to blend flavor. And after a couple hours, it's ready to go. And I gotta say, um, to me, peeling any of the skin off a potato is sacrilege. It shouldn't happen. You should leave the skin on potatoes. It's a nice taste and texture thing. Otherwise, they kind of just get mushy without the skin on there. Oh, that's just me. And uh, these were really good. Uh, if I have to start ranking all the things I've gone through, I'd have to say probably oatmeal pie is number one. Number two is potato salad. And then number three is that fudge. Thank you all for watching. We'll see you next week for another edition of Grandma's Cookbook. We'll see you then.